Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for chiming in on this bonus RTE after the regional training in Minneapolis event on social media. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. You're definitely in for a treat. As you know, with businesses today, especially building them from home, building them from your phone, social media is a very important platform to get to familiar with, with understanding how to use it towards full potential. And I've learned this myself by watching leaders in our amazing travel club with World Ventures and Dream Trips utilize it to their benefit and it create massive teams, not just in their local markets, but on a global aspect. And I've been testing this out my last few years, learning on my own, you know, reaching out to leaders, understanding what they're doing. And I've really come to the conclusion that, you know, as we build and we grow our teams, always follow what your leaders are doing first. Always ask them, is this something I learned? Can we implement it? I don't want to have anyone ever change with what they're doing and it's working. And then all of a sudden they change and it stops working. So make sure that you always get with your, your leaders that are, are you know, helping you build this business to make sure that it is in alignment with what they have you um, on track to succeed with. So uh, with that, I just want to tell you in my, always my personal experience, I come with you with what I've seen that works and what I've not, what I've become aware of that I'm implementing for myself. So I would never teach anyone that I haven't done for, with myself. With that being said, if you don't know my story, I come from South Florida. I joined the military right after high school. I wanted to be an influence for my siblings who were born uh, many years after I was and uh, what I've discovered in, while I was in the, in the military, going to school, you know, trying to figure out life and realizing, like, wait a second, this seems like this hamster wheel of living paycheck to paycheck and never getting above that average lifestyle until a friend introduced me to this amazing travel club that a lot of you are, you know, a part of and on this for this training specifically. And I'm here to tell you that it has dramatically changed my life because I said yes. And I said yes to the travel. I said yes to the friendships. I said yes to the personal development. And later on, I discovered that I could really myself achieve financial freedom. And in the last five years, I've been able to do that without having a real job. I was able to separate active duty from the military and, and go into the reserves, which I still serve today. And truly blessed, God has an amazing plan where today I only have to work three and a half weeks a year when I choose to now with the military as I can uh, continue you know, excelling my own brand and helping people like yourselves understand that because my story may be able to inspire you to achieve whatever it is that you want. And of course, all this extra training that we get to learn, you know, amongst each other and help build each other up. Because I truly believe that, you know, we are here for connection and we are here to help each other. And when you create a massive team of people that are, are on the same path and the same vision as you and they, they find the same passion as you do with whatever product or service you're involved in, then nothing, is, nothing can stand in your way with achieving whatever it is that you choose to. So I applaud you for taking the time out of your Friday, wherever in the world you may be to be here and to learn from, you know, myself and my amazing team member, friend, and business partner, Bambi, who I will be having jump in and out as she, you know, as we build these teams and we start learning from people and networking, we find that there's amazing people right next to us that are more knowledgeable about a passion that they have found. And with Bambi, she has found that in uh, this this industry of uh, marketing on social media. So, Bambi, if you want to just chime in really quickly, tell us a little bit about who you are and what you're up to. Hey, guys. How you doing? I'm excited to be on this call, Mel. So I've been doing marketing and social media for over 10 years, five years on my own, and I'm, I've been a part of the WV family. I was actually a part of it 10 years ago, so I can have a good um, perspective of how much it's grown and changed for the better, and I came back in with the right team, with the right people, with your leadership, and I'm excited to be here and a part of Team Infinity and, and share a little bit about what I've learned and how I apply it on social media. Awesome. Thank you so much. So if you haven't already done so, I see people are still hopping on. Welcome, welcome. Go ahead and grab a pen and paper because you're definitely going to want to take down some notes. 
And with these nodes, I want you to be able to apply at least two things, okay? Because you're here, you're taking your time out. It didn't cost you anything, but it cost you your time. And that is most precious than any dollar amount there is out there. So with that, you're going to take your notes and you're going to apply at least two things. So after you, we're done here, you're going to go over and highlight your two most important things if you haven't already put a star next to it. And just go apply it today. And again, remember, ask your mentors, ask your leaders if it's something that you can incorporate as we don't want to interfere with anything that they have already taught you. So I'm going to go ahead and open my slides and uh, share with you my screen. As you can see here, get this to play. Social media 101, make money while you sleep, right? <laughs> this is a time that if you are not utilizing your phone to watch this Zoom, then pull out your phone if you're on your computer because I want you to be active with me. And that's one thing that I, I truly value in being able to be in front of the room is that I want to be able to bring you value immediately right away as we're talking. A lot of you guys were able to do that when we were at the regional events by putting stuff in your calendar, by taking action right then and there, by texting somebody and inviting them. So I applaud you. Continue to do a, apply action in your life, and you're going to see that tomorrow will be enhanced by your actions from today. So I have my phone out. I'm going to be with you. Uh, one thing that you definitely want to have on your background is a goal that you have for yourself. This is the highest level in the company. That's the next rank for myself, as that is my goal. So social media, there's so much out there, and I remember getting started and realizing through this business that when I started making a residual income and I started having a team and building, you know, um, influence and respect within people and they started following me, I thought to myself, well, I really want to be a speaker and get on main stages and help people. And my mentor, Buddy Buck, he said, well, that's cool. Then you need to be on all social platforms. And I said, okay, but why? Because I don't use all of them. The main ones that I focus on right now, and Bambi, you know, you're the expert if you can chime in which ones are the top ones. For me, I'm, look, I'm looking at Instagram as my number one, Facebook, and YouTube. With, through Instagram, I'm able to post, and I'll show you how to do that through Twitter and Facebook at the same time. Bambi, do you have any other recommendations? Uh, LinkedIn as well. I would say that's another good platform, but, you know, my order of operation is Facebook and Instagram. I do Twitter. Um, I also do YouTube. Google Plus is actually dying out. I wouldn't recommend Google Plus. Pinterest is great, but if you only have a little bit of time in your day, just pick one or two platforms that you resonate with and stick with that. Yeah, for sure. So don't get overwhelmed. Like Bambi said, just pick one or two because as a lot of us are watching this, we do have jobs and we have children. We have things I don't want you to be bombarded with so much stuff. Again, just pick one or two. For me, as I said, I put it in the forefront of my phone. So if you have a smartphone, you can see where you can create windows and put little, put little um, files. So this is my Facebook, you know, social media file. And this is where I have my Messenger, my Facebooks, my Snapchat. Those are important, but not as important as what I'm working on right here. So Instagram is out of the file. LinkedIn is out of the file. YouTube is out of the file. Because for me, that's where for I'm branding myself, and I want to be able to focus more on those as where I think those are the highest potential of, of clients that we're going to start bringing towards our, our concept of, of world ventures. All right? So with that, you also want to follow everything. You want to be able, especially if you want to be a trainer, make sure you have, you're on all of those Pinterest and all of those. And as I said, you know, I have those, but I'm not on them all the time. I don't even know where my Pinterest is. Here's another platform where I have my Twitter and my Pinterest. I don't even go on those, but I'm on them, okay? So, again, if you're a part of our Amazing Travel Club, go and be a part of our social media platforms. You'll see this is our Facebook page. All you simply do is go to Facebook. In the search bar on the top, you type in World Ventures and you just follow us. And you can like us, as you can see here on the screen, on the top. And you know, it's the bottom with the arrow, you see that there's over 300,000, almost 300,000 people following us and, and knows about World Ventures. So that right there is also a great way to smash any people that, you know, don't have the belief that this is real or if it's working. Because you can simply go to our social media pages. This is Twitter. We have 34,000 followers there. So if you have a Twitter account, you know, Matt Morris, uh, Johnny Wimbry, all the top earners in the company who have hit the highest level several times, 
are also on Twitter because Twitter, correct me if I'm wrong, Bambi, but was like one of the first, you know, social platforms that you could express yourself out and people could see it. I know that we utilize this a lot to send out messages to our teams that are following us through a text system instead of texting every single person. So Twitter is a great platform to be on as well. As I told you, I'm utilizing my Instagram to post straight to that. So if you're on Instagram, it's a, like a one-stop shot. You can simply go here and you go to the add button on the bottom, click add, and then you make a post. And at the end of the post, let's, let's, let's just say this is the next post I want to make. It gives you the option to type up here and then also select. You want to um, add it to your Facebook. You want to add it to your Twitter. And then a Tumble. I don't have a Tumble account. Um, but those are, those are the ones that I post it to. So it's one post, but it goes to two or three different platforms. Does that make sense to everybody? If you have questions and you're not want, waiting, wanting to hold them at the end, you can go ahead and put them in the chat box, and I'll see them come up through that. All right? So, again, go follow these homepages. This is Instagram, 66,000 followers. Instagram is becoming a very well-known spot to find things, to, to do hashtags, which are, you know, the pound symbol. This is simply just like a file. It allows you to, I, if you go under the search button for Facebook at the top where we looked up World Ventures and Dream Trips, or if you go to Instagram and you look up the search, if you happen to put a, a hashtag before whatever word you're looking up, for example, Melanie Levitz, I've been, I've been hashtagging my own name for years now. So if anyone wants to know who I am, they can go look up my hashtag, and all of my posts that I ever put that hashtag on is there. So it's like a file that you're creating online. So it's really cool to have that, and um, Instagram is very big on that as far as uh, a lot of people are finding each other through Instagram, through hashtags, and through posts that I'm going to allow Bambi to talk more about here shortly. Here's also YouTube. As you can see, so many followers. YouTube is the number one source of videos in the world. Uh, I don't remember the exact amount that they upload, but it's ridiculous per minute. And, and if you don't have, you know, if you're looking to be a trainer, if you're looking to build a team, then I would highly recommend starting a YouTube channel where you're going to be teaching and, and helping and inspiring others through your story and through your experiences. As you can see here, you know, a lot of leaders already have created them. Um, Jay Paiso on the bottom left, he's, you know, one of the top leaders out in New York who, who went from, you know, the streets and boxing to, to now living, you know, in the pet houses and just had a baby boy who he's now a full-time father to because of our amazing travel club. So definitely, you know, again, start looking at getting into the social media with building your own brand of who you are and who your story is because a lot of people are starting to rise up and become entrepreneurs and start understanding network marketing and that it's just a matter of who they're going to go to. So if you're looking into that or if you're just, you know, getting your feet wet with, with, um, with um, marketing or I'm sorry, with branding or getting on social media, take a picture of this. I saw Betty, you ready to smart woman, you know, think top things to do on your, po on your social media. So this is even if you're the newest person, okay. And you're like, I don't know. I don't, I don't even have a social media account. Awesome. Take a picture. And this is what, this is what you're going to start implementing. Of course, have pictures of you having fun. People don't want to watch people of, you know, lying in bed or, you know, lying on the floor. No, they want to see people of, 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 of people in different places. You know, they have baby boomers retiring every, I believe, every uh, one minute or so, or every one hour or something like that. It's 10,000 baby boomers retiring, and they're just looking to travel and have fun. And when you're out there posting these pictures, you know, um, of doing this, especially holding up the amazing blue sign, people are going to start asking you questions. Number two is a, a really, really important one. Definitely wanting being able to update your profile pic at least once a week. And the reason why is because when you're going through your news feed on social media, especially on Facebook, what's going to happen is, is you're, all your friends are going to see that you changed your Facebook profile. Everyone gets notified. So if you're doing it once a week, you start showing more pictures and you're starting to pop up in their lives. 
they're going to come to your page more and see what's going on, all right? Make sure you build rapport, be interactive and conversational with your social audience. Uh, Bambi, you're really good at that. You know, I know we've been putting some new information out there. What, what can you add to number three for us? Um, it's really about engagement. So, you know, and, and to kind of piggyback to what you said about number one, um, you know, we're the fun, freedom, and fulfillment company. So show that in your post. Be very conscious of your brand. Um, and who what you represent don't don't lose that opportunity to impress the person you want to bring into world ventures I think that's very key and very important um, and you know conversationally you know, be yourself and be authentic I think that's what people want to see more than anything um, and you know I'll, I'll keep talking Mel but I think that's really the key for one through three so far yeah, for sure I think that is really valuable to put an asterisk next to that is to make sure you really are who you are, you know, because people tend to want to implement something that they see a leader or there's someone that they look up to, and that's good, but find a way to make it who you are, because we don't need another, you know, Oprah Winfrey. We need another, we need a, a new, you know, person that is going to reflect that, but in their own special way, so that is huge, a great, great uh, point, Bambi. Number four, create curiosity. Showcase you're making a living, living lifestyle and get people asking questions. Even if you have the, the nine to five job and you're not able to live where you can just travel and hop on planes and treat them like city buses, you still have the, the lifestyle where you're being able to interact with more people. You're having the lifestyle of being able to go in and enjoy the local establishments that we're now partnered with and, and showcase that, you know, you're being able to eat out and earn points to go on vacation with or get a haircut. We just went to a massage place for $35 an hour, and it was um, 10 points we got in return on that massage to use towards a vacation with dream trips. So of course I'm gonna you know share that with my friends. This is the lifestyle that we have. So I'm gonna show you how to break it up and how much is too much here in a, in a few minutes after this top 10. Um, again, number five, branding yourself. You are your brand, so just be you, as Bambi said. Let people experience the fun, freedom, and fulfillment through you. So what what is it that you can bring value to people? Keep your post positive and professional. Um, treat social media like a backyard barbecue. This is a relationship business. You know, they say when, when people know how much you care, they'll give you anything. They'll give you the shirt off their back. So um, this is, you know, again, especially with network marketing, if you're watching this and you're a part of, you know, a, an industry that deals with services or, or you're working with people, especially in sales, then, you, you know, you definitely want to make sure you're looking out for your best interest for your team. All right. Um, Use and, and number eight, use and respect the blue sign. If you're part of our child club and you're watching this, the You Should Be Here banner is definitely an official uh, trademark for World Ventures. So we want to respect that and make sure that even if we, you know, none of us women and guys on here would ever disrespect it, but if we see someone else to stand up for what we believe in is the right thing to do. So um, again, watch what you're doing and posting with the sign. Uh, number nine, get social with corporate, actively participate with uh, the World Ventures sites as we showed you first. And even if you, you know, message the, you know, Josh Payne, our, our uh, CEO, or Wayne Nugent, our, our chief visionary officer, co-founder, Eddie Head, president, you know, they actually message you back. So don't ever hesitate to, to reach out and, you know, make sure you're not wasting their time with a question you could ask your mentor or your leader. But definitely, you know, even if you say, hey, I just want to say thank you, you've inspired me. This is how I've been able to build rapport and relationships with all of the top leaders today because every time I would see them online, I would send a message, or every time I would see them in person, I would remind them who I am and who, you know, what leader I was working with. And it got to the point where they were finally like, okay, we know who you are, Melanie. <laughs> so get, get out of your own box. Get uncomfortable. You know, reach out and, and let people know who you are and what you're about to do, especially if you have big plans on, on reaching significant levels. And number 10, always remember to protect our house. Look out for for anything that's, you know, not, not, um, not pertaining greatness to, to our, our name and to our industry. So uh, here's some amazing pictures that I took in Las Vegas, as you can see, in Maui. 
uh, this one? No, that was o Oahu. Uh, just, you know, climbing and, and taking those breathtaking views and, and having amazing memories in, in the pool on a dream trip. And if you're ever in a position where you're like, you know, I forgot my sign, well, no worries. This is my mentor, as I told you earlier, Buddy Buck. He held up his hand, and he, he forgot his sign, and later on he was able to edit it and put his sign in there. So if you're not sure how to do all that, you know, always go go to someone that's younger and, and ask them, as I asked my sister and siblings to help me with a certain few things as well. Here's my Instagram page. I do want to point out, and my Facebook page, I do want to point out that what I did recently was copied Jefferson Santos, um, Byron Schrag, Sasha and Governor, all, again, multiple top leaders in the company have hit the highest level multiple times. I'm following their lead. They have exactly what I want, right? So what am I doing with my social media? And I'm putting it out there that, hey, you know, whatever achievements that you've been able to achieve, put out there. I'm the top single female earner in the United States, multiple, you know, six-figure entrepreneur, international speaker. I was featured in the Voyager magazines. And, of course, my website is out there so people can know who I am if they're ready to get started. And with my, um, you know, Facebook page, there's also a business page. So if you're creating this team and you had a lot of followers, the, the, the social media platforms will automatically ask you, do you want to become a public figure? And, of course, if you're looking at inspiring the masses or becoming a trainer in, in your industry, then, of course, you would want to accept that and do that. As you'll see, here's a lot of people that will just start coming to you. My neighbor, you know, once came to me. She's like, hey, I was on a cruise with a bunch of World Ventures people, and I saw them holding up the blue sign. You know, I see, I see it's all over your page, and she was my neighbor. And I said, yes, that's awesome. When I get back from out of town on a dream trip, let's get together. Or friends that I had been friends with from years ago in, in the military, you know, they see that um, I got a new car with the lifestyle bonus. That's a huge accomplishment. When you achieve something so great in your company and they are able to give you something physical, I would take that versus anything else because that's just proof that shows to your friends that this is actually working, and, and um, they, they reach out to you, as you can see, my friend Beth in the middle, and I said, yeah, I was, you know, I've earned it, I've earned two of those bonuses, now today it's been like four of those bonuses, by just understanding how to really take advantage of uh, the system, and to be able to reach its full, for, full potential, so just ask the question, you know, the inviting question that I taught up in Minnesota, Last weekend is, you know, when can you get online to watch a video for 15 minutes and uh, wait for them to get back with you and follow through on, on uh, your friends to watch it. So another one, you know, making a joke, hey, what's that scheme you're in? <laughs> it looks like you're having too much fun. I'm like, yes, let's talk, right? So, and then here's a few things not to do. It's, it's really important not to put up prices and claims for any of these trips because, What's going on is we have built relationships with these resorts and establishments where our prices are going to be extremely better than what they're getting. And if people start seeing that, they're going to they're gonna go back to the company and tell them, like, well, how come I'm not getting this? And it, as you can see, it can cause some tense um, situations between both parties. So we avoid that. Everything, nothing is free. Don't use that word. Um, on, on, on your social media pages when you do qualify for your lifestyle bonus. And then, of course, you know, a lot of people get tagged in, in pictures. I just had a friend of mine, she's like, I tagged you and you're not in it. I'm so sorry. Don't tag people that are not, you know, looking their best or they may be, you know, in a state of mind where they shouldn't have been and now they're on social media. <laughs> Don't tag, you know, uh, people that may – may not even be in the post, as I said earlier. Number four, no spams, no fire hosting your network with World Ventures business opportunity information. We're not here to beg anyone to become a part of the number one travel club in the world. We're not. We're just here to show our lifestyles and, and allow people to realize that it's, re it's real and it's possible, and you just need to be um, aware of what's going on and reach out and, and, and understand the information that is, is available. So we also don't do mass. Number five is no mass friend uh, texts or invites. You know, we like to simply invite each person individually is what we found to work. 
again, if you have something that is working and your, your mentors and your, your leaders have told you to utilize that, then of course do that. For our team, we don't do mass friend invites, mass Facebook events, anything like that. I have not seen that work. Uh, my pastor actually would do that and people would come over for him and then his team would do it and they didn't find the same results to work for themselves. So it's not it's not smart on, on both ends. Again, if you can do it, it doesn't show your team that or it, it shows your team that that's what's <clears throat> that's what's the process and then it may not work for them. All right. Um, also, for me, I'm, you know, I don't pay attention to game requests or chain letters, anything like that. I simply just ignore them. You know, um, my time is very valuable. And if I read every video or message that everyone sent me about a, a chain request or, a, you know, something to watch, I wouldn't have any time. Right. So respect your fellow World Ventures representatives. Uh, make sure that you're not stepping into conversations with uh, potential prospects. You know, if you don't feel that anything is morally correct on your end, then I suggest don't do it, period. Number eight, corporate branding usage. Make sure that you're not using the company's name, uh, trademark names, any logos without, of course, written consent from compliance. Avoid uh, controversial topics. Be cautious when posting about anything. Remember religion, sex, politics, stuff like that. For me, it's, it's better to, to not be involved because you're always going to have two sides. So it, I don't put any of that out there. Bambi, do you have anything on that? No, I completely agree with that. Um, you know, be cautious of what your post privacy settings are, especially on Facebook. Um, if, you're, if you're trying to keep something private, then mark it as friends. If you're trying to build your business, make it public. And that's what I've done with mine. And just, you know, remember that, uh, before thinking of your brand and what you represent and that most of your friends also don't understand that you're an entrepreneur and they don't know what that means. So you're representing, you know, network marketing, world ventures and, and being an entrepreneur. And, and for some people, that's, this is the first time they've had anybody in direct sales talk to them in any way. So, you know, keep that in mind as you're prospecting and, and posting and, um, you know, give it your best foot forward from that perspective. Awesome. And then the last one is your hashtags that we talked about with the filing of what it is that you're, you're um, putting out there. As, my, as I told you, my name is hashtag, so it's a file, and um, obviously it's not offensive or anything like that. Now, I did put in there one to three max per post. For me, I have learned that, you know, sometimes it can be overwhelming, and there's like how many do you post, how less do you post. I have, I don't know, Bambi, what, like 20, maybe 25 of them. And they're all very, very important. So do you have, like, a, an amount you would say, Bambi, that is, is too much or too less? Well, the, on Instagram, the maximum is 30. And um, the safe amount is 20, 25, because it is really ridiculous to count hashtags every time you post. Um, I consider the hashtags like cataloging. So when you're thinking about, uh, you know, what I want to be motivated today, I'll go on Motivational Monday and browse. And I've learned a lot of people on Instagram love to do that. So you're going to pick up followers, you know, by being conscious of the popularity of that hashtag. So um, consider it tagging, cataloging, viewership. Um, it, it's definitely be intentional with your hashtags. Uh, don't waste those opportunities to be visible in your network. And also remember, especially on Instagram, check off the location of where you are. So people in your particular area in uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, et cetera, can see where you, where you live or where you're working from, and that'll bring uh, geographical prospects closer to you. That's really smart, absolutely. And a few things like hashtags, as you can see on the bottom left, you know, um, it was, I guess, New Year's, New Month, New Week, New Day, New Goals, lose it, right? And then, of course, you can see I put a hashtag in there, Melanie Levitz. So, let me move these cameras around. All right. Rebecca, I see your question about uh, posting posts on Instagram like Facebook with a schedule. Yes, you can. There are tools out there, um, but they're not free. So just FYI, it can be done, but it's a little bit tricky. I see that. Okay, great question. 
All right, so obviously knowing what to post, when to post is truly important. Uh, this 70% add value to your followers. So as I, as you see at the beginning of the year, I put, you know, with my friends, come join this app with me. Let's lose this weight together, the new year. As I'm traveling, I found, you know, a function. <laughs> I remember a few years ago in the airports, you know, up is uh, liquid waste and two is down solid waste. So you're saving on water. And then, of course, you know, every so often slogans that, you know, may help influence people or inspire them. 20% I asked followers to buy. So as you can see, it's not like, hey, come buy this travel club. It's not direct like that, but it's simply saying, hey, when we say it's more than a vacation, we honestly mean it. There are no words to express how grateful I am a part of this friendship and through this concept with the, vac the vacation club. So I'm dropping what we like to say, um, you know, dripping on people, you know, success, or when I was in China, I couldn't believe, you know, it was over a year ago that I got to experience such great memories with the blue sign, hashtag, there's your hashtags, YSBH, which is another great source to be able to say to your friends that may not have the, the, the belief that this is real, you can simply go to any of these, these great social platforms and type in search bar, hashtag YSBH, and thousands of thousands of posts will populate on all of those uh, posts with people with that hashtag, all right? And then the last 10%, tell them something about personal about you. Let them know who you are, what do you do. For me, I like to eat right, and, and you know, I have, a, I have a dog that I absolutely love, um, been in my life for almost 10 years, and, and I like to be active and, and, you know, go to the beach or, you know, be at the gym. So make sure that people know who you are because they also want to be able to feel as though that they can relate to you, all right? And then as you can see, here's some more text of people just, you know, coming in and asking me again, you know, I'm going to jump back into your program. I want to finish up and, and get situated. And of course, I always come back with, you know, why wait? You know, it's, timing is, is truly important. And then someone said, I'd love to retire by age 41. How, how do I do that? Awesome, perfect, let's, you know, connect and I'll show you how. It's always about being able to, to, to follow through and make an appointment and, and show people versus having to tell them, okay? Because when you can show them everything, they'll, they'll believe it as you saw everything when you first saw it. And most important thing with your social media pages is have fun, okay? You know, people don't want to see the negative, the talk about religion or sex or anything like that. They don't want to see, you know, you're having a bad day or you may not be feeling good. You know, that they don't want to see that. They want to see people living their lives out in the world. You know, just look at what they're watching on TV. That's what they're looking for on social media now is they're moving towards social media. So with, with you being able to be a part of something so great with the Travel Club, we are always having fun. So uh, with that, our next event of training, if you're not aware or if you're, if you're like, I, I need more, you know, um, always more is, is growth in your life. We have Super Saturdays going on all across the world. If you're near the, the Houston area or if you're like, you want to come and fly out, I'm going to be training with Johnny Viverito on, you know, several different things on a short uh, time frame, it's not an all day event like we just had last weekend. It's more of like a four or five hours. So next weekend we have Greg Boyko, he's a regional marketing director. He used to be in the real estate industry. He also used to be um, uh, in the nightclub and bar industry. And you know he, he, he was always an entrepreneur and until he found World Ventures, he really be, has been able to be now a stay-home father and be with his family more. And if it wasn't for his knowledge and him helping me, you know, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. So he's going to be in Orlando next weekend. You can definitely find all of this information. I'll be posting it on my social media page uh, just after this on Facebook, on uh, my fan page and my personal page. So make sure you go out there as well and check it out. Or if you're on Instagram, you can go check it out on uh, my story is where I'll post it there. So uh, I'd love to take any more questions. If anyone has any more questions, we'll stop the screen here. If you haven't already taken a picture, do so. And um, I see that Bambi already answered one, so that's great. 
Does anyone have any questions for myself or Bambi? Thank you all again for hopping on. We truly appreciate y'all. So guys, something I wanted to share with you um, that I think is important, remember that people are watching what you do, even if they're not commenting. So keep that in mind. Um, you'll be surprised. You'll post something that you would never expect would bring um, them to contact you about WV. It, it, people are paying attention, so don't think they aren't. If you're not getting a lot of comments, they're definitely checking you out. Absolutely. Yep. We like to call them the silent likers. <laughs> <laughs> if you do have a question and you don't want to type in and you feel free to unmute your line, you're able to do that and uh, ask a question. Awesome. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for hopping on. Harry, Betty, Kim, Lori, I hope that whatever has happened here for you today that you, again, Take at least two things and apply them. Knowledge without action is nothing, and you just wasted the last 36 minutes of your life. So make sure you take this knowledge that you have and apply it, at least two things. I love to hear it on my social media pages. Shout out to me. Let me know how you're doing. And if I don't see you in Houston in two weeks or Orlando next weekend, then I definitely will see you all in L.A. at our next United event. All right, everybody, have a great night. Happy Friday. Bye, everyone.